I was brought up as a child in, in the church. The gospel was preached faithfully through all the uh, pastors and, and leaders who came to the church and I was brought up in the Sunday school, uh, as many people were of my generation. It was when I was 13 years old that I, Frank Morley preached a particular sermon and I was convicted that I should give my heart to the Lord. And uh, I did. He's been faithful to me and I was kept in that way until early 20s. I met my wife, Julie, and we started courting. She lived uh, about 100k in, in your terminology from where I lived in a different town. I think partially because we lived quite a way away. We got married pretty quickly within about a year or so. But we uh, had our daughter Esther when uh, Julie was, was 20. We kept in a local church in, in a town called Batley in Yorkshire. And we stayed there until my mid thirties when we moved to her town where we live at present, which is Grimsby in Lincolnshire. And we started going to the church there, which uh, was initially started by my wife's mum and stepdad, uh, Julie's father having died when, when she was only 13 years old. I, I never met him, I'm afraid, but uh, apparently he was a, a wonderful Christian man, was her dad. We've come to Australia for quite a few years now, probably 15 years, most times at least once a year. That was since my daughter emigrated here and then she's now got children, a 13 year old, an eight and a six year old. So we've, we've come at least once a year to Australia over that period. Just over a year ago, we were gonna come for, uh, I think it was about eight week, and we were gonna go back in, in mid April. But of course the COVID uh, pandemic started in a big way and we found out we couldn't easily go back. We'd intended to go back and see my other grandchildren who live in Scotland when we came back from Australia. But that hasn't been the case. <laughs> We've been here since. I've been blessed coming to this church, coming to Gateway Church, because although we came the previous year, we were made welcome. I felt relaxed about coming back and seeing the, the friends, Pastor Jeremy and, and the other members of the church and friends who I knew would make me welcome and make Julie, my wife, welcome. So. It's been, been a real blessing because Julie and I have gone through difficult spiritual times in Britain, which I don't want to go into the details, but God has sort of taken us out of that and is, is given us a, a great time here in Adelaide among, amongst the Christians, amongst the Christian people and amongst others who we, we, we know. We know many friends here now, almost perhaps as many as what we do in our own town. <laughs> I think it's my nature to be involved rather than sit back. I like to meet people and you get to know people in the church at a different level when you work with them and spend time with them. I'm not very good at sitting around. <laughs> um, fortunately God still gives me strength and ability to do things. Not a great professional tradesman just as a in a, in a sense of helping. We know God knows everything before it happens and it, Although it's a great surprise to us, being uh, fastened in, in Australia for a year, it's no surprise to him and he, he knows the beginning from the end, doesn't he? And although we say that in faith, it's come out as that because we have been protected from the awful situation which our friends and all the British people have gone through in the last 12 months. Where they're restricted, they can't do anything. We had two or three days lockdown in, uh, in Adelaide here, and that for me was hard because I'm a, I'm a person who likes to be out and doing things. My son and family haven't been able to go to their church where they belong to in Edinburgh, had to have online services all throughout the year for them to keep in any contact with their Christian friends. It's not been easy, and I, and I feel a bit guilty. It's almost like I've abandoned the country in the time of war <laughs> because uh, I've not suffered like they have, and God has been so good to us. We've, we've been blessed spiritually, we've been blessed in the natural. We've, we've had a, a great time in here, Australia. <laughs> it's, it's been summer all the time, and we haven't seen the darkness of winter, which, which people see in, in Britain. <laughs> His word definitely speaks to us and his spirit speak to us if, we, if we're open enough to listen to it. As the older you get, you realise the futility of life without Christ. Life's gone so quickly, you realise uh, you're nearer death than life. The Lord waits for us. Sadly, uh, I miss a lot of men of my generation, who are not that much older now, have passed over to be with the Lord. <laughs> and you, you know, you've got to keep your eyes on the, on the Lord, because what does this world offer? Not a great deal. <laughs> 
we know that ultimately God's got this COVID situation in hand and it's all very sad that many people have lost their lives and it has shaken the whole world up and it's, it's, it's shaken us up. We have got to believe that God has got things in his hands. He knows the beginning from the end. And uh, I'm not uh, fearful. I'm not fearful about, about what's going to happen because I know that God's got me, my family and, and Christians in, in his hands. Yeah.